Welcome to this week's mastery lesson. Can I just remind students to make sure that they email their mastery work to the teacher that sets it, not to their regular teacher? Thank you. Okay, for your starter, could you punctuate these sentences correctly, please? There is sometimes more than one way to correct them. You'll want to pause the video after I've read through these um, four statements so that you can complete them without looking at the answers. So number one, in spring, winter and summer, the birds migrate out of town. It is wonderful to see. Number two, the youngest child threw a tantrum, cried and shouted because she fell over. Number three, in the forest, Lee, Hamza and Kay all got hopelessly lost. Strange things started to happen. And number four, over the hills, valleys and mountains, the fog rolled in quickly. It was going to rain. And you'll want to pause the video here to complete that. OK, answers then. Important to note that there are two uh, potential answers for number two. So I'll go through both of them and you can mark um, whichever one you have got. So number one, in spring, comma, winter and summer, the birds migrate out of town. Full stop, capital I. It is wonderful to see. Number two then, one of the responses could be the youngest child threw a tantrum, comma, cried and shouted because she fell over. Or you could have had the youngest child threw a tantrum, full stop, she cried and shouted because she fell over. Either of those is right. Number three, in the forest, comma, Lee, Hamza and Kay all got hopelessly lost, full stop, capital S, strange things started to happen. Number four then, over the hills, comma, valleys and mountains, comma, the fog rolled in quickly, full stop, capital I, it was going to rain. Um, have a look and see whether you got those right and mark them out of four. Exercise one then, it says, enter the correct punctuation in these sentences. Number one, Richmond said, because I love peas, the dinner lady gave me an extra large helping. Number two, although I loved the show, Laura, Tom and Sarah hated it, Keandra explained. Number three, if I could ask one question to my local MP, I would ask, what are you going to do for education? Number four, Bob said, if I had the latest iPhone, I would install Snapchat, WhatsApp and Instagram. Number five, although I look young, I'm actually 14, said Chanel, I'm allowed to travel to school on my own. Number six, unless I get a part time job, I won't have any money for an Xbox games or a new computer, complained Sydney. I'm going to hand in my application form tomorrow. You might want to pause the video here so that you can complete them. OK, so let's tick and fix our work. Number one, Richmond said, comma, open quotation marks, because I love peas, comma, the dinner lady gave me an extra large helping, full stop, close quotation marks. Number two, open quotation marks, although I love the show, comma, Laura, comma, Tom and Sarah hated it. Uh, close quotation marks, Keandra explained. Number three, if I could ask one question to my local MP, comma, I would ask, open quotation marks, what are you going to do for education, question mark, close quotation marks. Number four, Bob said, comma, open quotation marks, if I had the latest iPhone, comma, I would install Snapchat, comma, WhatsApp and Instagram, full stop, close quotation marks. Number five, open quotation marks, although I look young, comma, I'm actually 14, comma, close quotation marks, said Chanel. Open quotation marks, I'm allowed to travel to school on my own, full stop, close quotation marks. Number six, open quotation marks, unless I get a part-time job, comma, I won't have any money for an Xbox, comma, games or a new computer, comma, close quotation marks, complain Sydney, full stop. Open quotation marks, I'm going to hand in my application form tomorrow, full stop, close quotation marks. Each one of those um, is out of six, so you have to get all of them right in one for one mark, all of them right for two, in two for, two, for another mark, um, all the way up to six. So mark those, please. Exercise two then, match each sentence to the error it has made. One sentence is correct, leave this um, sentence unmatched. So I'm going to read the sentences on the left hand side first and then I will read the errors on the right hand side. He phoned his mum, his sister and his grandmother every Tuesday. I adore your new bag, said Chanel. I wish I had one that nice. Danny and his father planned a daring escape from the dangerous poacher. Although I ate some cake, I bought some more yesterday. Shakespeare wrote about lots of interesting characters in this play. My favourite part is when Hermia says to Helena, how low am I thy painted maypole? I want to buy sweets, chocolate and oranges, her mum said. Nevea said, although it will be difficult, I'm determined to go to university in Oxford, Cambridge or Harvard. Paula called her mother. It was her birthday. 
and the errors are on the right hand side. Forgets to put commas in lists, doesn't punctuate speech correctly, splices commas and adds commas in where there aren't supposed to be any. OK, and you'll want to pause the video here in order to be able to do that. OK, let's tick and fix our work. So he phoned his mum, his sister and his grandmother every Tuesday, adds commas in where there aren't supposed to be any. I adore your new bag, said Chanel. I wish I had one that nice. Doesn't punctuate speech correctly. Danny and his father planned a daring escape from the dangerous poacher. Also adds commas where there aren't supposed to be any. Although I ate some cake, I bought some more yesterday. Again, adds commas in where there aren't supposed to be any. Shakespeare wrote about lots of interesting characters in this play. My favourite part is when Hermia says to Helena, how low am I? Thou painted maypole, splices commas. I want to buy sweets, chocolate and oranges, her mum said, forgets to put commas in lists. Nevea said, although it will be difficult, I'm determined to go to university in Oxford, Cambridge or Harvard is the correct sentence. And Paula called her mother, it was her birthday, splices commas. OK, so which brother from the Disney film Brave has punctuated their sentence correctly? We have got Harris who says, I love my sister, comma, she's kind to me, full stop. We've got Hubert who says, I want to be a strong and powerful warrior, comma, when I grow up. And we've got Hamish who says, my brothers and my sister drive me mad when they make fun of me for being short, full stop. Have a think about which one is the correct answer. You might want to pause this and think about it before I reveal the answer on the next slide. And the answer is, of course, Hamish, who said, my brothers and my sister drive me mad when they make fun of me for being short. Well done if you correctly said Hamish. OK, exercise three asks you to underline the subject in each sentence and to also circle the main verb in each sentence. So number one, I called upon my friend, Mr Sherlock Holmes, one day in the autumn of last year. Number two, the stout gentleman rose from his chair. Number three, at the moment, I do not know the details of the case. Number four, Holmes, the greatest detective London has ever seen, sucked on his ancient wooden pipe. Number five, the portly client puffed out his chest and pulled a dirty and wrinkled newspaper from the inside pocket of his greatcoat. Number six, after we had heard the strange tale, Holmes pulled me to one side and whispered quietly into my ear. And number seven, I did not learn very much, however, from my inspection of Mr. Wilson. You might want to pause the video here so that you can complete that exercise. OK, so let's tick and fix our work. So number one, I is the subject in that one and called is the main verb. Number two, the stout gentleman is the subject and rose is the verb. Number three, I is the subject and no is the verb. Number four, Holmes is the subject and sucked is the verb. Number six, the portly client is the subject and puffed is the verb. Number seven, Holmes again is the subject and pulled is the verb. Number eight, I is the subject and learn is the verb. Well done if you got all of those right. OK, error correction. So this passage is about the Bronte sisters. Correct the errors in the passage and I'll read the passage out to you. Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte's life was not a completely happy one. Her brothers and sisters all died from tuberculosis within a nine month period. After they died, she lived in Yorkshire with her father. She also married a man called Arthur Nichols. Although she was happy with her new husband, her father did not like him. She was happy with her life and published another novel, The Professor, before she died. Throughout their lives and up until the present day, all the Bronte sisters have been influential characters. Even though it wasn't normal for the time, they wrote about strong women who survived lots of difficult times. Their writing included characters that were interesting, funny and radical. And you'll want to pause the video here to complete that error correction. OK, then let's go through these answers. Charlotte's life was not a completely happy one. Her brother and sisters all died from tuberculosis within a nine month period. After they died, comma, she lived in Yorkshire with her father. Full stop there and capital S. She also married a man called Arthur Nichols. Although she was happy with her new husband, comma, her father did not like him. She was happy with her life and published another novel. The professor, the P there, should, uh, should have a capital letter before she died. Throughout their lives and up until the present day, comma, all the Bronte sisters have been influential characters. Even though it wasn't normal for the time, comma, they wrote about strong women who survived lots of difficult times. Their writing included characters that were interesting, comma, funny and radical. 
Moving on to the writing section now, we have already looked at three different story types. We've looked at a problem-solved love story, a problem-solved action story, and a fantasy quest. Last lesson, you wrote a problem-solved love story. This lesson, you're going to write a problem-solved action story. Okay, what are the four parts of a problem-solved action story? We have got the opening, the problem, the solution, and the ending. So the opening, we meet a hero who is attempting a difficult task and has one extraordinary skill to help them. The problem, the hero encounters a problem along the way. The solution is they use their skill to overcome the problem and accomplish their task. And the ending, they are rewarded. OK, so what are the similarities and differences between problem solved love stories and problem solved action stories? Let's have a look together using this Venn diagram to help you. So the main characters face a serious problem, the characters solve the problem, the characters live happily ever after, and the solution to the problem is prepared in the opening. OK, so that is where uh, both of those stories cross over, but let's see where they are different. In a love story, it is about a couple, and it's obvious why the couple fall in love. Whereas in the problem-solved action story, it is about a hero, and the main character uses an extraordinary skill to solve the problem. Using the image as the inspiration for your story, uh, unfortunately you can't discuss your story with the partner, but certainly have a think about it. Um, what part of this story does the picture show? Have a look on the right hand side at the opening, the problem, the solution and the ending and have a think about which uh, part of the story that might be. When it comes to writing your story, you will, of course, need to use the eight pieces of vocab in the boxes at the bottom of the slide. And they are ranch, determined, protect, wagon, sheriff, revolver, lasso and gallop. As usual, when you have written your story, you will check it for both mastery of grammar and for craft. So mastery check one says I have not used any fragments. Mastery check two says I have avoided comma splices. And mastery check three says I have included speech and punctuated it correctly. And the crafting check is I have written a problem solved action story with four clear parts and with a solution that is prepared in the opening. OK, it is now time to write your story by creating a paragraph for each part. Don't forget you can use dictionary or the internet to help you with some of the words in the vocab boxes that you are not sure about. You can also use the information in the boxes on the right hand side to help you uh, with each part of the story. When you have finished your work, make sure you go back to these mastery checks and look through your work, making sure that you have hit each of these checks. So have a look through and tick and fix your work. You may want to pause the video here so that you can both complete the story and go through your work and check it. This is, well, normally it would be the exit question, but this can be like the um, ending of the lesson. So this is the first one. What is the mistake in this sentence? The sentence is the best types of desserts are almond, banana and strawberry flavoured. They are so tasty and delicious, said Ravinda. Is it A, the writer has missed out a comma after the temporal clause? Is it B, the writer has spliced the comma when writing down the exact words Ravinda said? Is it C, the writer has not punctuated the speech marks correctly? Is it D, the writer has missed out a comma in the list? Or is it E, the writer has spliced the comma after writing down what Ravinda said? You might want to pause the video here so that you can write down the correct answer exactly as it appears in the options, please. The answer to this one is B, the writer has spliced the comma when writing down the exact words Ravinda said. If you've got that one right, tick it. If you didn't get it right, please write down the correct answer. OK, number two then, which of these sentences is correct? Um, all of these say, Laura pointed to the mountain and said, one day I will climb that. But it's up to you to see which one is punctuated correctly. And you'll want to pause the video here so that you can write down the correct answer in full. And the answer to that one is D, Laura pointed to the mountain and said, comma, open quotation marks, one day, comma, I will climb that full stop, close quotation marks. Well done if you got that one right. Now, just as a reminder, please, can you make sure that any um, work that you wish to upload goes to the teacher that set this work, not to your normal teacher. Thank you very much.